this old brand new pose. I'm going to join and then share. Glynum, I assure you it's an ancient codex, just like in the tales. Intriguing. She has claim over many stones, but still, why would the codex reveal itself to a child in dust? Nice to have you back. beginning to think that you'd never show up. This is Glynor, Lord Master of the House of Ballads. Give the Codex over to him, and he may have your answers. Lord Master Glynor has devoted centuries to the study of lore and ancient fey stories. The Codex you found isn't just any lore stone. Just talk to him, and I'm sure he'll be able to shed some light on the issue. I'm a woman of many talents, and we're all taught that we must use our talents for the greatest good, right? The Codex of Fate is no simple law stone. It's more subtle and complex than any mortal could comprehend. But a law master of ballads may be able to interpret it. For a long time, they were content to keep to their play of the summer and winter courts. Now we fight Gadflow and the Tuatha for our very existence. A close friend once told me, strive to be whatever you want to be. Fate might be a lie, but if it isn't, then worrying about it won't change a thing. Lionel's one of the greatest balladeers amongst the Fae, and the most learned lawmaster you'll find outside of Issa. And as it happens, he owes me a favor. The Fae do not have a written language, so their tales are their lifeblood, their history, and their future all in one. The House of Ballads is where they enshrine these legends and celebrate them time and again. The summer court, or the Sealy Fae if you prefer, embody the growth and energy of nature, but they can still be as aloof and uncaring as a brutal summer day. The current High King of the Fae is Deterian, the wisest of the summer court. While Gadflow has undermined the winter court, he tries to keep their cycle in balance. You haven't been around much, have you? The Tuatha have been pressing west from their home in Alabastra. Right now, they're only threatening my people. But if we fall, the Tuatha will turn their eyes to the other mortal races. The Tarian isn't quite what you'd expect from the High King of Summer. But he hasn't got the arrogance of his cousins or their cheer. Ever since Gadfo killed the High King of Winter and started the war, the Tarian has become distant and melancholy and blind to the dangers around him. The Tuatha are a radical sect of Fae within the Winter Court. Led by Gadflo and his insane rants about their new god, they've taken power and declared war on mortals. They use raw prisoner to enhance their power, and their devotion borders on madness. But 
the most terrifying thing to a fae is simply the fact that their siblings have changed so completely. The winter court, or the unseen, embrace the destruction and decay of nature. They aren't evil, but they aren't exactly the best of friends. Normally, they share power peacefully with the summer court. But since the Tuatha have seized power, there is neither peace nor predictability. Be on your way. Yes, Lord. was unaware that you were associated with Lady Sheer. She speaks very highly of you. Occasion rare enough to be worth recording in its own right. But let's see this Claudius. Perhaps another of your tales will be written within. The fabled Codex of Destiny. When the Fate Weavers formed their order, a high king gave his own wisdom to his system. To have such knowledge in your hands is a tremendous gift, but why did it reveal itself to you? You are truly unique among the children of dust. How else would you have uncovered the Maid of Windermere? Now, I can only make out some parts, but this is odd. The Codex speaks of an exception, a void, an end to the endless. This is simply too much. The High King would never pawn such absurdity off as wisdom. Sure you think it is. I fear you must have been taken in by a forgery, a perfectly created one perhaps, but a forgery nonetheless. But this codex speaks of impossible things, changes to fate, death of the immortals and other heresies. To ascribe these lies to the High King would be... I'm sorry, but I must ask you to take it away. I will have no part in these lies. It's had a meaning to it. Only its author can tell it. All of us in the Western Feylands are subjects of High King Tataria. Our presence maintains the natural balance, bringing the green of spring at winter's end. It is a new relic crafted by several of our most attuned Fey mages. Usually the notion of new repels me, but in this case, I can't help but feel a spark of curiosity. The Echo Stone can be used like a law stone to experience past narratives, stories that have long since left the lips of their tellers. However, one can only use the Echo Stone if he has the right matching care, a magical key devised by Hallam the White himself. We are the story that is told in every age, with different words, with the same meanings. We are the blazing summer and the brooding winter, forever following one another. We are, as we have always been and shall ever be, no more and no less. He is an offence to our people. He upsets the natural order, and his war breaks the cycle. I will speak no more. Antiquarian, I'm keenly aware of the lesser ballads in fae telling, and do my best to ensure that they are not lost in the wide river of time. I'm keeper of the Echo Stone here in the House of Ballads. It has only come to us recently, but I find its purpose most fascinating.
The role of the storyteller is the most important to the Fey in the court of summer. He watches the telling as it unfolds. His gaze is not on one ballad, but all of them. His wisdom is above us all, even the lords and ladies of the House of Ballads. The High King guides us in all the grand telling of the Fey. For you, tales are naught but a reminder of your inevitable decline. But for the Fey, our tales are eternal reminders of our truest selves. Here we celebrate the very heart of our kind. The greatest of our tales, reborn. Every creature has its story. The wake it leaves behind in its travel, that is a telling. It is a narrative of defeats and victories that give every life meaning. Our fey telling goes on from creation deep into the hidden end. Until then, we celebrate the small songs, the ones that celebrate the spring in which we find ourselves. Every creature has its story. The wake it leaves behind in its travel, that is a telling. It is a narrative of defeats and victories that give every life meaning. Our fey telling goes on from creation deep into the hidden end. Until then, we celebrate the small songs, the ones that celebrate the spring in which we find ourselves. Do not bother me with such foolishness again. Lionel spends his life cherishing old stories, but shows something truly new, and he dismisses it. Tragic. First of all, we ignore this fool. Most Fay aren't comfortable with change, and you are certainly something new. I'm afraid that only one person will really be able to help us with the Codex. The High King himself. It would be difficult. His court is in the city of Issa. Very few mortals are permitted in its gardens. I do know one individual who can grant him permission to enter, but you'll have to meet him alone. Neolem is a private person, and he carries a grudge against me. Although perhaps person isn't the right word for him, nor is him. You'll find him in southeast Dallantark at Cair Nirlem, just head towards the giant tree, and, well, you'll see. You'll have to meet him on your own. I'd accompany you, but Nirlem and I have our disagreements. That codex isn't just a complicated law stone. It seems to tell a tale most Fae don't want to hear, and created by High King Deterring himself, no less. Interesting. Good luck with Nirolen, and ignore anything he says about me.
cheers me to see you alive. Word about the court has spread throughout the House of Balance. What does it mean when all you've come to know is no longer? I will always have my healing, I suppose. But what shall become of the telling? I only wish I'd been there. All my lifetimes, I've waited for the moment. A time to make a real difference. I should have been there for my lords and ladies. If you ask me, our kind should be moving east to aid the Alpha. We are part of a bigger world now. The telling has changed. We cannot ignore what you call the future. For our kind, healing is simply a matter of asking our bodies to mend themselves. For one like you, it's, it's more complicated. I don't know how you lasted this long. I do what I can. Most of the time, it's not enough. I've learned much from the dying races. Life is precious. Our kind often forget that. <laughs> Goodbye.